Blockchains are gaining a lot of popularity recently. But most people remain clueless when it comes to knowing exactly what blockchain is and how it works. Welcome to King's Charts. In this video, let's try to uncover all things blockchain including what it is, how it works and what problems does it cater to. Well, it's no rocket science. Blockchain is simply a chain of blocks and these blocks contain information. This concept sounds new and unheard of. but you'll be surprised to know that blockchain was originally discovered by a bunch of researchers in 1991 with the purpose of serving as a time stamp for digital documents to prevent any kind of tampering or backdating of these documents so basically it was intended to act as a notary for digital documents this technology however was not employed by anyone until 2009 when satoshi nakamoto used it to create the famous cryptocurrency we all know the bitcoin in simple words a blockchain is an open to all distributed ledger the characteristic that makes this technology as unique and popular as it is today is its ability to be immutable now what does that mean well it means that once a piece of information is stored in a blockchain it is next to impossible to change it You must be wondering how is that really possible to understand that let us show you what an individual block in a blockchain looks like observe that any block in a blockchain primarily contains three things some information the hash of the block and the hash of the previous block depending on the type of blockchain it is the information stored within differs for example in a blockchain like bitcoin information like details of the sender receiver and the number of coins would be stored now talking about the hash on the block wait do you know what a hash is well a hash is like a digital fingerprint just like a human fingerprint it is used as an identification mark and each one is unique when a block of information is created simultaneously its hash is also calculated every time the block is altered to any degree the hash changes along with it What this does is it makes it super easy to identify changes to the blocks in a blockchain. Next element that a block contains is the hash of the previous block. This essentially means that each block apart from containing its own unique identification mark also points towards the hash of the previous block and that block does the same to the block before its own thus creating a chain of blocks. This very aspect of blockchain lends it the security that it's glorified for. Let's take an example. Here we have a chain of four blocks. Each block contains a hash of its own and the hash of the previous block. So block number four points to block number three. Block number three points to block number two, and block number two points to block number one. What makes block number one a bit different is that this block does not point to any other block and is known as the genesis block. Now, if somebody tries to tamper with the data stored in block number two. this will make the hash of block number 2 change as well and because of that block number 3 and all subsequent blocks will become invalid this is because the hash of the previous block on each of these blocks would be invalid so changing one block will always make the other blocks invalid leaving the blockchain disruptive however hashes are not the only way that blockchain employs to protect itself from possible tampering This is because computers today are capable of calculating thousands of hashes in a matter of seconds. So, if a hacker wants, he can alter a block, recalculate the hashes of all subsequent blocks to make the blockchain valid again. To deal with this problem, blockchains have something called proof of work. Proof of work is a system which slows down the process of creating new blocks. talking specifically about bitcoin it takes 10 minutes to calculate the proof of work and add a new block to the chain this makes it very difficult to disrupt a blockchain because tampering just one block would mean modifying all subsequent blocks which would take a lot of time thus the strategic combination of hashing and proof of work is what lends blockchain such incredible security besides the hashing and the proof of work there is another aspect very fundamental to the technology of blockchain that helps with securing blockchain even further blockchains are distributed this means that blockchains do not use a central home base to control its network 
Instead, it runs on a peer-to-peer -peer network that is open for anyone and everyone to join. If you, for example, join this network, you will receive a full copy of the blockchain running on this network, just like your other peers in this network would. You, as a node, can then verify that everything is in place and is valid in the blockchain. Now, what do you think happens when someone creates a new block? This new block gets reflected in every node's copy of the blockchain. And once all nodes verify that everything seems orderly, this new block is added to the blockchain by all the nodes in the network. Essentially, what such peer-to-peer -peer network does is that it creates a consensus between all the nodes in the network. And only if more than 50% of this network agrees to or validates any new addition is when it is accepted as a part of that blockchain. The blockchain technology is most definitely a one of its kind and is getting a lot of people excited about its potential uses. Whether it's storing medical records, being a digital notary or a tax collection network, it's safe to say that blockchain has a lot of scope of intertwining in our everyday lives while making it much more efficient and secure. Thank you for watching and click here to know what are cryptocurrencies and how they function on the concept of blockchain that we just understood. Also, don't forget to create a chain of likes, subscribes and shares. Until then, goodbye.